Sorry, sorry, I disappointed on that one. No, What's no, up, Keemstar Jim? sent me a message. That's that's why he apparently Monday Matt blocked him. That was the. Uh, oh, how is how is Keem gonna live with himself now? <laughs> He's not gonna get all those hot Matt tweets at his fucking timeline. Because we all know that uh, that guy brings the fucking banter uh, every Man. day of the week. Why live? My might, might as well sunset yourself now. Oh, what a week it's been! What mm-hmm. a fucking week it has been! Oh, <sighs> so uh, it, let, let me just first say this, uh, boys. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you have succeeded where others have failed. Uh, you've taken a simple fucking premise for running a show and you've not fucked it into the dirt. So I think Chad <laughs> should give you a round of applause <laughs> for having, you know, a job that is fairly straightforward. Be entertaining. Be nice to your audience. Collect money. It's really bizarre, isn't it? But some people are so fucking stupid. They can't make that work. Not naming anybody specifically. But I just want to say, I want to congratulate you on the success. What is it, 4,000 people watching right now? Yeah, 4,200 were trending, I think, at number four or number five on YouTube. They, 40, they it's it's a weekly trending. thing for you. It's a fucking weekly thing for you. And it's only going to keep growing. You just got to be entertaining. And you just got to keep doing the format you're doing. So good job. Good job. You. Um, you know, now my tribe and your tribe <laughs> uh, might have to wrestle at some point. Uh, it's, an internet, <laughs> it's an internet ritual. <laughs> Uh, again, not naming any names. Uh, <laughs> let me let, let me be vague, vague on, vague on things here. You know, uh, maybe some people will have think to be this, vague. I mean, I wasn't vague at all. <laughs> oh, well, you know, maybe some people will think this applies to them. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Let's see if a name pops into your head. But let's imagine, you know, there uh, there's a guy that goes on to streams with a certain mm-hmm. individual, uh, and that certain individual is a fucking retard and ruins his format. Uh, and then uh, he gets angry at the guy that doesn't come on the streams anymore. And so he finds everybody that guy has ever argued with and starts sucking their dick like a $5 whore. You know, maybe one of those people is Kraut. Maybe another one's Monday and Matt. Maybe he decides to make Sargon his uh, tribe's chief now. I don't know. Again, trying to be totally as vague as I can about it. I don't want any names to pop into the yes, head. Of course. Um, <laughs> you know... I, I just, I also want to say Donga posting is fucking amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen that everywhere. Well, I have seen that everywhere. Uh, I totally did steal, steal that. Um, that is funny as fuck. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know. It I, is I, that. I, it is that, though. It, it is that he's mad. You, you stopped going on shit. Yeah, it, it's been nothing but just passive aggressive bitchiness for like a month now. People have continuously sent me clips and I ignored them for the most part because I don't really give too much of a shit. But just little little jabs here and there, you know. Billy Hunter's this, Billy Hunter's that, and then it moved on to Blood of Palooza not working because that's somehow my fault. Like I fucking set the thing up and made money from it. Uh, to to the fucking IBS apocalypse stream, and then uh, you know anything I said in the past. Oh, suddenly, crowd is the most innocent person in the world, kind of shit, um, and just other stuff like that. I'd like to put this out here. I don't want to cock tease too much. I don't know when I'm going to use this, but I like to hold on to stuff in case of you know future events. Uh, let's just say one of the bigger skeptics uh, makes Kraut look like an amateur. And I got a little evidence for that. So I'm just going to wait for him uh, to open his big, dumb, fat fucking mouth again uh, so I can pull that one out of reserve because I got some shit archived, a few comments archived. Because we all know Kraut liked to use third party sites so he could then say that the information was public when he used it. Let's say he's not the only one that's been doing that. And let's say that maybe one of those third party sites, the people that. Uh, is associated with that publicly outed them as doing it. And let's just say that I have those comments archived. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward uh, to what the next month brings. Does it rhyme with me, we harms? No. Oh, okay. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not me, we farms. Uh, <laughs> it's not. Uh, I, I don't know any cute rhyme for a yeah, chance. Not a chan either. It's not the cowboy. Uh, but you, you, you know, I'm just going to hold on to that. I like to have my little, my little, little surprises, pocket. yeah, surprise, little, little, motherfucker. little something to pull out for a, a rainy day. A little, little something to pull out for a rainy day. Um, no, I saw somebody released a video today, uh, oh, yeah. crying about how they were a real human being or something. A real and, human being. Sargon, yes, Sargon has retired from the culture war. It's a stressful job, Ralph. I mean, I don't know if you've ever made twenty thousand dollars every month for the last <laughs> couple of years, but it's a tough fucking job. It's hard. Thousands of people. Uh, insult him in the most cutting ways, Jim. They, 
it's it's hard being him. It's it's hard collecting all that money and and hearing oh, it's, bad it's things so, about it's, you. It's, yeah, it's so difficult, Chet. I mean, you know, I can't imagine the stresses. It must be really tiring on your arms to lift up the fucking bags of money. <laughs> I'm sure that you know that's stressful on the biceps, especially. You got to hire somebody to just haul it around for you. It's like what is it like twenty? Or it's twelve grand on Patreon and like twelve hundred on Maker. Probably let's be you know conservative three thousand in ads on YouTube. Probably another five thousand in super chats, plus any merchandising, any T-shirts, anything like that. You that mean might like be out there. Kekistan, like he like he raped raped Kek and he sold a bunch of merchandise on that. It's very stressful, very stressful. Yeah, yeah. 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 Steal all those memes and run them into the ground for your own profit. Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's difficult. Uh, <laughs> Imagine how long it would take for Sargon McDuck to fill his swimming pool full of gold coins. Like that's got to be really stressful, just waiting for that to fill up so you can swim in it. I, I will admit, I I'm very surprised that that uh, that video went up. Um, <laughs> I I don't, I don't know what to make of it. We'll see how the next month plays itself out. Uh, but you know, I, I have a feeling the BBC article, like I said, is not Ooh. going to be super favorable. Uh, uh, and like you said, I think you said this on your stream yesterday, where it was like, even if it was going to be halfway favorable, now that all these other outlets are going in, they're going to have to go back and recalibrate. If it already wasn't going to be a hit piece, it's definitely well, going to be. A hit piece <laughs> well, they, if you look like uh, uh, both, well, uh, fucking everybody really. I mean, you've got like uh, 4chan, 8chan, and Kiwi. Are all talking about the the uh, gay niggers from outer space clip from Sargon? Yes, that's Which, the one I want to play. Yeah, yeah, that one's that one's some next level stuff. That's uh, I've seen some edits of that shit uh, from Ooh. a couple people on Kiwi. That's funny as fuck. Um, mm. you know, so I, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna have like at the rate things are going. I'm not gonna be able to keep doing Sunday Funday streams. There's gonna be nobody left. Right? Like, fucking Kraut's gone, Matt's gone, I guess Sargon's taking a break, a Bunty is eating people's pussy blood. I don't know what uh. the fuck's going on with that guy. Yeah, Dude. and Coach was 100% right. Fuck. He's literally there yeah, talking up it. with the girls. Yeah. Touch with my feminine side. Well, yeah, I am looking forward to talking about shit, Rat. I think that's going to be fun. I'm going to yeah, go so into detail on that. Uh, through a few of his posts last week on on a literal autism forum, and he's talking about how hard it is living with with. I guess he's got Asperger. I don't I don't know what he's got exactly, but uh, he's on the spectrum. Could you not yes. tell? Was that <laughs> like we're all acting like we're fucking surprised by that? And this motherfucker just drips now, autism. Did you see the the post where he talks about declaring his love for a lesbian and how that didn't turn out? The way he thought it would turn out, I don't know if you saw those posts or not, but well, oh, they are both giant, you know, walking vaginas, so you think they'd have <laughs> something in common, but apparently not. You know, Bundy's a weird case. It's not like uh, I, I've never really encountered anything that he said where I was like, "Oh, what a cunt." But it, it's like he, it, there's so much shit out there of him just saying really bizarre stuff that it's like hard not to do a double take and fucking be like, "I, I know I'm jumping subjects, so I'm going back to Bundy," That's but fine, yeah. it's like hard to like not do a double take uh, and be like, "What the fuck did this guy just say?" <laughs> Um, the, the thing that really surprised me, I think the most is, did you, do you have that clip or have you shown the clip, um, of Bunty where he talks about his classmates in junior high, leaving a bar of soap on his desk and saying, you fucking stink uh, where he smells. I think we might've shown it. I don't have the clip offhand. If you have it, you can send it real quick, but, uh, yeah. And, and then he actually says, he says, so his classmates give him a bar of soap and say, you fucking smell. And then he said it took him another two years to figure out what they meant. <laughs> you think that would, skepticism, uh, yes. Yeah. And just, um, yeah, you know, I, again, I'm noticing like a really weird trend with this group. But I mean, it kind of relates to shit rad and all of them, really. Like, it's just really poor social interaction skills and um, some sexual quirks. You know, I'm, I'm, I've been going through a lot of tweets lately, reading from some of these people. A lot of stuff about trannies, a lot of stuff about gay sex. It's it's like a theme. Yeah, here's here's a couple tweets from uh, from Shit Rat. I guess a couple years ago, I, I I haven't shown them on the stream before. Uh, and this is from June eighth, twenty sixteen. Back to back tweets. I'm going to be honest. I am a little boy craving my mom's cuddles. And he says, <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> and and the next one says, and breast milk. This guy. Oh, these are archives. <laughs> No wonder his mommy interrupted him with Lauren Southern to tell him that he needs to stop tinkling on the floor. Like, fucking shit. 
Can you imagine a grown David Sherratt sucking his mother's tit? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want you to picture She's that. She's been breastfeeding this whole time. Has you know, if you keep breastfeeding, apparently it'll continue. Mommy's uh, milkies, right? And there's David just <laughs> biting the nipples. Yeah, we we hadn't shown those on air before, but yeah. Uh, we even. <laughs> oh, oh, and I wanted to bring up to uh, because uh, you remember FNGR? Oh, well, maybe you don't. It, it was this brony that uh, got into a little tism match with me. Uh, message me because he's he's part of like the, the furry community, other kin community, saying he didn't think I gave Kiro a fair shake. Um, I would suggest to, uh, to anybody about that Zeus Ada shit, go take a look at Kiwi Farms and their animal control sub forum. Um, the Kiro stuff was the most tame of it, uh, apparently, compared to the other stuff people are talking about. Like they're talking full on child molestation, child porn trading, uh, you know, raping puppies killing animals and jacking off on the corpses, prolapsing their assholes with fucking vacuum cleaners. Like, really fucked up shit. And I've been getting messages from other people that say they knew all these people on this fucking Telegram service, and they're corroborating that they were sick fucks. Like, I had three or four different furries say, yeah, I talked to this guy before, and uh, we kicked him out of our group. Or, you know, I talked to this guy before, and all he would talk about is, like, this, this zoo fetish shit, and nobody wanted to deal with it. All right, a couple questions. First off, Caro, uh, and I want to get to the other question after this, but uh, the, the first off, he's put out and he said, this isn't me. I don't have this tattoo here and, and this and that. And he's looking into defamation lawsuits for, for all these people talking shit about him. Uh, yeah, okay. He said he filed a police report and the, he said he went to the police and the police cleared him, if, I, if I'm recalling this correctly on his Twitter account. And then people called the fucking police station and they said, we've never talked to this fucking guy and we didn't clear him a shit. Uh, and then on top of that, I'm pretty sure somebody on Kiwi contacted the police department where he lives, and, and they openly stated now they are investigating him, but they couldn't give any further comment because it's an ongoing investigation. So, you know, it's just shit like that that doesn't line up. Why would you tell people you've already talked to the police and they cleared you in like four hours? And then people check to verify it, and it turns out that's not true. Uh, it, it makes you look fucking stupid, and it makes you look like you're lying. The same thing with the I was hacked from my RAN stuff, right? Um, yes, yes. <laughs> I've seen about four, like, yeah, maybe like five or six people, to be honest, lining up shit he said on Telegram and the times he was saying it and the account he was saying it from. And they talked to him and they're like, yeah, no, that that was his account. Uh, they matched up the user ID and stuff, showing that it went back that far. Other people are doing like really detailed fucking deep dives into this shit and trying to match up posting dates and pictures and video clips for when stuff happened and life events for him. Like people are going full CSI with this shit. Um, and I mean, maybe it is the biggest super hacker thing in the world. Maybe there is a troll out there and he thought it would be the funniest shit on earth to make people watch people screw deer corpses. It um, makes no but sense, does it? Yeah, this, why would it, you it, do that? It, it's, it's so much stuff. It, it's so much fucking shit. It's so many things all tied together. And again, that initial guy that dropped all that shit and leaked all this stuff, um, it wasn't just Kiro. It was like 10 or 12 fucking people. It was a whole group of people that he was, you know, fucking outing. It just happened to be that Kiro was the one guy with like a big channel. So people knew who he was. But the other ones apparently are all into really sick, fucked up shit, too. So, again, I, I don't know which way it's going to go, but it it doesn't look like this is just pulled out of thin air, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then there were some people who contacted me. I have installed Telegram, but I never really used it. So I had um, never heard of it until no, this. I, heard I, of it. I definitely heard of it because so political dissidents in some countries and stuff use Telegrams. I think it's Russia where it comes from. But but anyway, people in in countries where political you know being a political dissident could get you fucking killed um, use Telegram and services like that. So supposed to be you know anonymous or whatever it's easier to hide your track so I, I heard of it before i never really used it but a lot of people contacted me and said it's not that easy to just hijack a telegram account that what he's saying doesn't make sense just on the face of it from that now i've i'm not used it that deeply uh, so i couldn't say but uh yeah that, that's what a lot of people told me all right the other question i had was uh you talked about the the furry community at large i know a lot of people in the chat just say you know peacefully sunset all furries regardless what, what what do you think about that is 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 fur you know are furries just in and of themselves degenerate or or is this a guy who's i guess making the community look bad you know what do you have you have any sympathy for other furries that uh, don't participate in fucking yeah do you have any sympathy oh, well, for if... other furries who don't fuck animals 
I, I have no idea what the fuck is going on in the furry community. I mean, I opened that video up with the Uncle Kage shit because that was the dude that was going to the conventions telling him, please stop doing retarded shit. You're making us look fucking awful. But has there been one big video or one big story or one big thread you can think of over the years where it was positive about this group? No, like, uh, no. like, what was a rain first video that uh, nope. Internet Historian did uh, talking about them throwing shit filled diapers at people's cars and drug. Uh, yeah. Or you, drugs and going crazy. Yeah. Crazy shit like that. Shitting you in litter boxes and, and <laughs> shit all over the walls at convention <laughs> hotel rooms. Oh, and they broke the bathrooms and flooded the entire first floor. They yeah, literally well, gassed themselves with chlorine gas at one convention one year. Right, and you've got stuff going even further back, like Tumbles a Stair Dragon, where some fat fucking other kid tried to kill himself at a convention because he smells and nobody likes him by hucking himself down a flight of stairs. Like, it's just, it's one sad story after the other, but uh, I, I, this one is like a next level shit. I mean, c- with the stuff that's going on, it's really fucked up. So, if there's if this is the doing of a troll just to get revenge on somebody, they've really planned this out. Like, they really fucking went to work on this particular thing to fuck with some people. They went deep level. All right, Monday Matt issued his apology today. Now, there's some people defending the apology and saying, well, if you, you know, we won't talk about certain tribes necessarily, but uh, the leader of a certain tribe is talking about, well, you know, what else did you expect? And Monday Matt, he apologized. How could you ask for anything more? Why are you still picking on this guy? Um, thoughts, thoughts on his apology. I think Matt's done. Um, go look at his social blade. You want you want to know how done Matt is right now? Go look at his social blade account, and you will see that right now his view, you know, monthly views are at like a half a million. By the end of the month, he'll probably get like six hundred thousand. Now that may sound like a lot, but if you look at his timeline that's available on Social Blade, you'll see that that is the lowest number it has ever been for the last three fucking years. It's like half of the lowest number he's ever had. So his view count is fucking plummeted, and the income then would have plummeted too, based on what he's pulling in from ads. Uh, his Patreon has plummeted. So you know, and he went through this whole phase of just yeah, yeah. There you got his page or his uh, yeah, his social blade up. up. Yeah. yeah, look, you see how it's always that, just that, above one million, right? Yeah. And if you go all the way at the top, it shows like what is it, uh, five hundred thousand somewhere around there yeah. uh, for the month. So. That's that's bad. So when I'm thinking, why is he apologizing? That's why he's apologizing. That and the other people chastising him at the the fucking little. Did you think uh, uh, the MythCon? Uh, wow, looked like a, a hell of a shindig there at MythCon. By the way, we we haven't even got it. Originally, this show was going to be us just laughing at MythCon for the first hour. Oh, now have you talked about the? Okay, were you going to talk about the MythCon creeper? I saw that. I saw. I that heard too. about it, but. Because uh, I, uh, I uh, if, do you mind if I read no, the tweets? To see what your, uh, oh, did she? Hold on. I know she locked your fucking account down. Uh, after I'll pull I pull that up on the stream, by the way. But yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, this was put out like at the very tail end of MythCon by I, I don't know who the fuck this is, but uh, Mayu, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm really freaked out now. Some creepy guy was following me and wouldn't leave me alone. I finally got him to walk away, and I'm looking over my shoulder basically nonstop right now. He asked me where I was staying, and I couldn't lie convincingly enough, so I told him the truth. But when he asked if I was from Colorado, I said yes. And when he asked my age, I said it was 17. He tried to lie and say he was 16, but it was such obvious bullshit, and he gave up soon after. So it looks like there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of angry fedoring that's going on up there. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, it, what, what are your speculations, gentlemen, on who who our little uh, Romeo might be up at I mean, MythCon? I mean, Bunty King jumps to mind, but he's a faggot, so I'm not I'm not really sure if, if he would be that bold. Yeah, he would have asked how many men you've been with first. Yeah, sure. Well, what about you, Zidane? Who, who's your who's your prom suspect? Oh, and I should say before you make your guess, uh, she did not mention him having a knife, so I think that leaves somebody <laughs> off of the list. <laughs> So Colorado is strange, right? Like, why would you ask if you're from Colorado? Probably meaning they're from there, right? Yeah. yeah. Who was from Colorado from in that convention? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know much about these fucking people. <laughs> oh, it could be Jeff Holiday. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Jeff Holiday was there. Oh no, he didn't go. 
No, he didn't. I don't think he actually. I, I don't think he could lie convincingly and say he's yeah. 16. I think that might be fucking stretching it. Mm. Chris Reagan I mean, also. I was just about to oh, say Chris yeah. Reagan. <laughs> No, surely he knows there's a lot of eyes on him. He wouldn't. He wouldn't do that. Now, right? the only reason I highlighted this, um, oh fuck, you know, I, shit, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the video. Uh, there was a dude that went to the MythCon thing, and he was outside on the sidewalk filming it, and security freaked the fuck out and was like, "You can't stand on the sidewalk. This is ours. Get the fuck out of here." And uh, when he's like, "What? What are you talking about? I just I'm, I'm filming people and getting their reaction, what they think of the event." Uh, the uh, the owners of the event freaked out on them. Uh, security freaked out on them. Uh, they went and grabbed the police and were like, we're going to have you arrested if you don't go away right now. And like just up his fucking ass for filming people outside of the event itself and threatening to physically remove it. That's kind of strange for a YouTuber convention to be so angry at people filming, right? I mean- Right. Well, it's weird that if they had that much security, where the fuck were they in the evening? You know what I mean? Like they were all around during the day hassling people filming shit on a public sidewalk, but Suddenly, they're gone and absent in the evening near the end of the fucking event. Oh, that's who it was. Durst is the worst. That's the that's the dude. Uh, he should have the video up on his channel. Uh, somebody suggested that black guy, or excuse me, some black guy. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, oh, did you see uh, some black guy had Bunty on his stream outside okay. after the bomb threat? Yeah. And uh, people in chat were calling Bunty a cuck. And Bunty kind of kind of spazzed out for a minute about that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He's like, I'm not a cuck. Do you want me to come and fuck? What, I think he said, like, fuck your mother or fuck your father. You want me to cuck them? So, I mean, it was a little weird. He's not, he's not taking this in good nature. Look, I'm, I'm skimming through the video right now. Oh, God. And by the way, too, um, there's a liberalist clip where uh, if you look up... Um, MythCon liberalists, they did a couple of live streams. I think it's the one that's like 38 minutes long. If you listen to the beginning of it, all they do is shit on Kekistan, Pepe the Frog, and Sarkon. Also, have you seen that clip? I think I want to say you showed this yesterday. I'm not sure if you did or not. But where everybody's like, I don't know about screaming, but you know, speaking loudly towards Sargon, they're like, Carl, Carl, Carl. And he doesn't say anything. And then finally they're like, Sargon. (laughs) And he turns around. I don't know if you showed that or not. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like an Aussie. Yeah, when yeah. he turned around, it's like, fuck you, mate. <laughs> yeah, cunt. Yeah, I saw that clip. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Again, the, the whole first hour was supposed to be just laughing at MythCon, and then Sargon put out his video. Monday Matt put out his video. You know, we had the uh, certain tribesmen, so that kind of took the What, what is the deal with MythCon? Like, I, I could not, the only live stream I could find, that's why I ended up watching some of the liberalist shit, is like, Nobody was streaming it, and I couldn't find really any clips on Twitter about it. I, I checked throughout the day to kind of see, like, what the fuck's going on at this thing. And, like, there's no live streams. There's no real videos of any of it. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, I guess you could say a missed opportunity, or maybe they didn't want the video out there, or maybe they're trying to sell it. I really don't know why, because, like you said, like, I saw a bunch of, you know, photographs and people, you know, live tweeting it about what was going on. Yeah, but I saw a lot no, of li- live tweeting from like. But there was I think, no live streams. You would think that would be a no-brainer to to live stream this stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, you you would think that, but um, yeah, I saw a lot of uh, like she was tweeting about it. Other people that were there yeah. were tweeting about it, but like nobody was really putting up video clips. Also, apparently, the person uh, that was tweeting about the creepy guy is a Jewish tranny, or at least that's what somebody was telling me in in my messages. Oh, now we know why Sargon went to Milwaukee. <laughs> confirmed it all makes sense sorry you kip i have business in the states (laughs) thank you can you handle this one for me (laughs) i'll be back in a little bit poor poor sorry what what, what do you think's on the menu for his big brain content what what do you think you know he said he's, he's he's gonna look for something higher you know something a little bit more his higher brow for his content this week in stupid it's making him look bad, you know. Him saying "nigger this, chink that," it's, it's making him look bad. So, so he's looking towards new content. What do you think he's got his eyes on? I, I have no idea. I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a mind reader. I couldn't tell you. Uh, the you only reason what? I you say I, I, that, but we played that clip at the beginning of the show where you literally told Sargon, "You know what? Give this six to eight months, and you're going to be catching more shit than you've ever caught in your life, and you're going to regret everything you're doing." And well, I'm going to. I'm going to get credit where credit is due um i started using temple os about nine months ago 
Okay, so Terry has allowed me to have communion with God, and that is how I got that fucking insight. <laughs> you, Terry. Oh man, it's just it's just so funny watching that clip, and literally that is exactly what's come to pass. And you see him; it's just getting started too. I know he thinks maybe he thinks by, you know, retreating a little bit, they're they're gonna not fuck with him as much. But I know the UK press. Uh, of course, I'm an American, but I've always been a kind of like hobbyists when it comes to studying the UK press, they're just getting started, dude. Like they're, they're, this is not, it's not even close to the end. They're, they're oh no, just, they, they get real vicious when they start to go yeah. full gear. I mean, more so than the American press. Oh, so. way more. They this, show up this, at your this house. Has been a love like, tap. Yeah. yeah, dude, they do all kinds of dirty shit over there. It's, it's, it's not even, wow. They, they go hard in the UK. And yeah, they, they do go, they do go very fucking hard. Um, uh, I, yeah. They, once one does it and a few more do it, others start to pile in. And uh, then it kind of becomes a thing that's in the cycle for maybe two to four weeks. Uh, and then they wait for a reaction. If they get a reaction, it you know extends it from two to four weeks to like two to four months. Uh, if they can get something really good out of it. Uh, so I, I, I don't know where it's going to go. But I mentioned on my stream, and I, I wish I had had the clip ready. But I, I can swear that I remember Sargon chastising. It was either Anglin or Spencer. Yeah. Saying that they were shills for talking to the mainstream media, and then he's taught, he's bragging about his BBC interview. And did he literally just put out a video the other day? The main I forget the exact title, but it was basically the mainstream media will never treat you fairly or or whatever. It's like, oh, well, why did you just sit down for a three hour interview with the BBC? Then I, I just mind boggling, and it's like you said too, and I've already said this before, but like if they were gonna treat him, you know. With any kind of love tap, that's out the window now because they're gonna look like fucking cucks or like they're they're covering for him now if they don't go hard on him. So of course they're gonna clip it in the most you know negative way now. That's 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 a given. Yeah, I mean, it's like a feeding frenzy. It's it's a cycle thing. What you, they they feed off each other, right? And then they they try to kind of elevate it and go a little further and further with each you know subsequent fucking attack. Um, I. I, I think he was just very naive and thinking that he could walk into an interview. And I think the other people that pointed it out saying like, dude, if it was three hours long and they're only using four <laughs> minutes and, and then they fed you afterwards, you, you have to oh. know that they're, they're going to hurt you for that one. Now, let me ask you this to, to put my full Larry King hat on to, to just try to go full sympathetic. Is, is there any part of you that feels sorry? For sorry. No, not at all. Fuck him. I don't feel sorry for that faggot one bit. Uh, you know, he got a angry because I made fun of his stupid fucking suit and then basically tried to insinuate I was a pedophile and dance around it like he was some fucking intellectual doing it. So, no, I, I don't feel fucking guilty or sad or empathetic towards him at all. Fuck him. Um, he's getting done to him what he literally tried doing to me a week before. And I know there have been calls for, oh, peace, we're a community. I'm looking at you, Sticks. Oh, um, Sticks, Hex and Hammer, I seem to remember when two podcast hosts from an alt-right show said you were a pedophile yourself. You didn't take too kindly to that. In fact, you came on and yelled at them for doing that. Uh, so what, I'm supposed to sit and take it for the community? I'm not a part of the community. I, I'm not looking to uh, stand shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of fucking YouTubers. I'm here laughing at shit. I mean, I get what he's saying, but... Yeah, don't, said, don't give me this so don't give me this centrist position of we need to get along shit they're bigger enemies stuff uh, we're all fucked anyway and, you know the reality of it is when they want us gone we're gone that's true and i mean look it could come any day i mean this, i don't know but but he said oh wait there are apologies to be made what if sargon came out with a full throat he's not gonna do this but say he did say he came out with a full-throated apology um, a, a, a better a better apology than what Monday Matt put out here today. Say, say he apologized to you. Would you accept that? Would I accept? I'm sorry. For, apology from who? From Sargon. From Sargon. I, I don't want an apology. I mean, if you want to do the back and forth, I'm fine doing that. But um, yeah, don't this. It's really weird. Like he did. I noticed this trend too, right? Um, he did his stream, and then I did mine in response. But when I did mine in response, suddenly everybody was like, oh, this is drama. We need to get along. Where the fuck were you when he was doing his? Where was the, oh, it's drama. We need to get along when he declared he was going to do one. You weren't anywhere. You just didn't like the fucking, uh, uh, you know, the reciprocation. You didn't like when I fired back. That's what bothered you. I don't know why yeah. people don't understand that if you're going to talk shit, you're going to get hit. 
yeah, I, I'm just over here doing my own little thing, right? I'm not um, a part of some network. I don't go to fucking conventions. I don't glad hand. I don't jump and uh, do interviews with other groups and larger channels and shit. I just kind of stay segregated to myself. So the people that watch my shit watch it. It's like a weird amalgamation. Uh, so I, I find that the the people that watch my shit generally I, I don't hear from them that oh my god this is drama oh my god we need to stop they're just looking for a, you know to laugh at some retarded shit it's usually the other people that get upset when this is going on back and forth now i talked to you about this years ago but I, I i'm not aware of any interview with you on record with any media organization ever no that's not true i did do oh. an interview at the end of uh gamer game well, with the ralph yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Besides me, besides, besides the Ralph retort, I, I'm not aware of any other interview with you, you know, on any publication ever. Is, am I wrong on that or? Um, hey, I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't think so. I, I've had a couple of people that say like, oh, I'm, I worry for a college paper. Can I talk to you sometimes? Like, yeah, whatever. But, um, who am I going to talk to? Like, uh, what, what are they? But you know uh, what? I mean, come on. People have reached out to you though, right? I mean. I, I, maybe maybe they have i mean i've I've had offers to do like fucking advertising stuff i've had people talk from mcns and stuff but i'm fine on my own doing my own thing you know whichever way it goes i'm not interested like people are like oh would you ever go on steven crowder what am i ever going to talk to him about oh you should try to get on joe rogan what are we ever going to talk about like unless he wants to talk about furry shitting themselves like the conversation stops there right as it's not ever going to go somewhere else as long as you're going Joe Rogan and talk about Anita Sarkeesian. will tear you apart. Yeah, yeah, go on Rogan and just talk about how Anita upset me. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Minutes. Yeah. You could do that. That'd be great. That or a Kekasan right, shirt. Yeah. Oh, it'd be perfect. You literally yeah, wore a uh, You know what I think it is, Ralph, when it comes mm -hmm. to the skeptics and Sargon and all of them? I think they hate me because I'm actually the ideal they pretend to be. I'm the actual real individualist. I'm not a part of a network and a group of fucking people that get together at conventions. I'm just a guy on my own doing my own thing. You know, they're the collectivist. I'm the gym individualist. Just an asshole on the internet talking shit. That's right. They hate me because they can't be me. <laughs> they hate me because they ain't me. Jim, what else you got to say, real quick? I, I don't want to. I don't want to monopolize your time. I, I, you know, I always, I always think about that. Uh, if you want to hang, I love how I love how you're neutral about kicking people. You're very good at it. You're very <laughs> fucking good at it. No, I want <laughs> you to stay the whole time, but I just worry. You know, 15, 20 minutes. You're just like, oh, Jim, I Jim. I know get, you're a busy I guy. Get, get the fuck here. out of my studio. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I want to. I want to kick you. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. No, no. I, I'm just enjoying the entertaining week. Um, liking the show. Good job on your numbers. You're doing great. Thank you. Uh, I like that you renamed it. <laughs> Still stream love. Yes, we we went ahead and changed that. Yeah. I don't know. This might be considered tribal warfare when you change that name. So just uh, be prepared. You might get some boulders hucked at you and challenges <laughs> for luchador masks. So you need to be ready for that. I'm ready. Have my design picked out. All right. Uh, you guys have a good one. Uh, enjoy enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to, to watching some more of the show and looking forward to discussing David Shitrat's autism post Ooh, in detail. I cannot this, wait this Sunday and talking about his $10,000 scam. David, where is the money? Where, where did that money, the money go? David? Sunday, fun day, Mr. Medicare. Thank you for joining. Oh, wait, before you leave, do yeah. you have anything planned before, before Sunday, maybe a video in between. Uh, yeah, I've got a video coming up midweek. It's just, uh, it's an internet insanity. Um, people like it they like it but I, i'm more excited to be honest with you about <laughs> shitting on david and you know him talking about sucking his mother's tits and oh. not getting enough hugs <laughs> nobody would hug him uh, thanks i had so to much. race on here before jim got off jim i'm gonna need you to make peace oh. with sargon you guys have to take on the evildoers the illuminati <laughs> well you know i <laughs> I would love to save the West, but I don't own a big boy suit game, so I don't know how we're going to ever work together. I'm pretty sure Sargon can get you a good tailor. <laughs> you know, I'm more of a Perkins dude than an Applebee's guy. I don't think it's like fucking oil and water, really, isn't it? I mean, if we have, I can bring up a, like a hist historical like uh, example, right? Like Hawaii couldn't defeat Japan 
but the United States did. You know what I'm saying? Strength through unity. No, I mean, I get that. That's a strong liberalistism's uh, fucking principle that I've read on their brochures that they hand out at events that people throw directly into the garbage five <laughs> seconds later. Um, hey, I, I heard that uh, you might be involved in a luchador match eventually here with like fucking Tommy or Tonka. So if you need a towel boy, you hit me up. <laughs> You hit me up, and I'll be in that corner giving you some water. And oh my god, these these primal morons! Like they get in a little, and anything gets a little heated. Let's fight! Let's fight! It's so ridiculous. They go, they go right for it. Yeah, yeah. You made fun of me the, on, on the internet. We need to throw gold. And I like the delusion. They keep bringing up like uh, the KSI and Logan shit, but they seem to forget that those dudes combined had like fifty million fucking yes. subscribers, right? Yeah, so yeah. Literally could, the biggest event in YouTube history. <laughs> they could get together and chew fucking bubble gum and pull in a hundred thousand people. So a hundred a hundred percent. No, here's the thing. He uh what is that guy's name? Tonka truck. He he goes <laughs> Tonka truck goes, Yeah, you're a bitch because you wouldn't fight scarce, but you would fight wings of redemption. Now, listen, if I'm going to actually fight someone, if I'm going to jump in a ring, and even if I win, I know I'm going to look fucking ridiculous, right? But if I'm going to go, if I'm going to be willing to to be a fucking dancing monkey in the middle of the stage of all these people, right? I have to have a real reason. Me and Scarce, we don't really actually have any beef. Scarce is a nice guy. But Wings of Redemption has been wishing for my death for fucking like nine years. So yeah, I would love to punch him and I have a reason to punch him. And I was trying to get the, my point across to him, but then he just kept going on and on. So I was telling Tonka, I was like, why are you hiding from Jim? So I guess I have to go real quick because I have to film my uh, podcast. But before I go, are you and Tonka going to debate? Cause I want to see it. Uh, you know what? I'm open. Like I said, I threw out the challenge before he mentioned fucking anything about his show to come on the kill stream and do it. So he's ducking me, not the other way around. Maybe if his ass gets on Ralph's show, I'll do it. Hopefully that happens sometime in the fucking future. I would like to take this time before I leave to promote some bullying. Please find Tonka and tell him he's oh, a bitch for hiding from Jim. Wait, wait, Keen, Keen, before you leave, yep. I am planning to do the St. Jude stream this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern, probably go for four or five hours I just want to ask if you would be a part of that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely will. For charity, 100%, yeah, I'll help out. Yes, thank you very much. And before before you go, Jim, I'll ask you the same thing, uh, if you'll be a part of it. Yeah, you're using that new feature, right, where it just yeah, goes directly. Yeah, yeah, it's Super Chat for Good. I'm going to show it all on screen. No chicanery. I'm not trying to keep any of the money. It's all for St. Jude. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. That's where I was born. Well, Ralph, yeah, I, I, said a, I said on my stream, it's terrible that you're doing this. Sargon uh -huh. would never do that. Oh, wait, no, he totally did that. He's that <laughs> fucking <better. laughs> Yeah, no. I'll, I'll I just want to ask here. you guys while you're still here, we're, we're planning for Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern, and we'll probably go to like 9 or 10 p.m. Eastern, but just if you guys could stop in, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, a, not a problem. And, and one last thing before I go. Um, I like how Tonka and them are trying to pretend like they're the originators of the idea of fighting people online. I'd like to throw out there, Lotex did this shit like 10 fucking years ago with Uwe Boll. Uh, not a lot of people remember that. It's not like it's the most memorable shit on the internet, but the fight me in real, or fight me in real life shit has been going on for a while. And it's it kind been of going faded. on since the fucking Stone Age. What are, what are, like, what are they saying? I know, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, take it easy, guys. All right, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, real quick, uh, Team Rubicon, great charity. It's like veterans. Uh